Most people in America are concerned with, how do I eat if I'm homeless? There are local places that do sometimes provide you food like it's a shelter. There are other places that don't do that, but they do throw out food that is just over the edge of its shelf life. In other words, it's got a shelf date and it just expired, so they throw it out into their garbage bins. And there are plenty of people all around America that go and do dumpster diving to feed their families. There's nothing we can do about that. There are immoral people, however, that handle food that will container an item for weeks on end and then throw them out. And what that means is that people who are expecting food handlers to handle food correctly are getting sick. I'm holding in my hand some apples. Now these apples were thrown on top of a cardboard and placed in a container. They look pristine, but they might not be. They could be apples that someone wanted to do something with or do something obscene with. Or maybe they did. Maybe they filled them full of something and then they threw them out to make me or a mouse or something else ill. The reality is that food handling in America is a precious gift. And if you're a food handler, meaning you work in a grocery store, then every motherfucking person walking in that store is entrusting you with their food. Not only that, with their hard-earned discretionary dollars of where they choose to buy their food. They're not asking you for anything other than what you're offering outside in your store. Meaning if you've got things on discount, why is it on sale? Is it because it's about all to time out? You're trying to move it out of there before it really expires? And if so, what happens to all that marvelous food if it doesn't make it past its shelf date? Do you keep it in the freezer because it's still being freezered? and freeze, freezing or because it has freezer burn. You see, some things do get that over time. But if you're constantly having a problem with people opening and closing doors, then where do you keep the food so it doesn't get that? Now, I'm just talking about things in general. There are other things that places do throw out that are perfectly fine food, but let's make mention of something like this, okay? This was in a trash can today. Now, this is made by Kroger, and who knows where else it might be sold, right? But if I look at the date, I find that the date is almost a month, two, three months old. What does that mean? Does that mean that someone held that in a container and then threw it out on a cool day like today? So that if somebody wasn't paying attention to the actual expiry date, which is written on the package, or possibly not on the package, that they might pick it up and eat it, thinking it's pure and pristine because it's in a package? Something we know about packaging people today is that they like to play in our food. I have been in places on campus where someone took a hold of my program and literally tried to sell it to a company and got a whole bunch of food on behalf of me. And then I found that food myself out by a trash can because the man was blasting himself out of that apartment complex with the help of his Indian family, meaning Middle Eastern Indian family. What I found, though, was that I woke up a day or two later having my clothes disheveled because the food that I ate that looked pristine and brand new had been tampered with in its package. You see, you can tell when food is good, but if it's been laced with something and then it's allowed to dry and do other things, you might not know. The hard part for us as people who are indigent is that it's not that we're working so hard to get a job. We are, but we're working to get a job in our industry, and my industry is journalism. My industry and my experience is business writing for business selling, business consulting, master marketing, training of marketing. So I'm not going to walk into a $10 an hour job and be content in any way. My mind will be bored out of my fucking mind. So stop insulting people like me saying, why don't you get a fucking job? I have siblings and family members that once did that to me, and I think they figured out why, because it allowed them to be empowered in their mind about how much more pristine they were in their life when they're not. They still have motherfucking bills to pay. They still have child college to pay for. They still have cars and gas to pay for. But since they helped to make me homeless, I only have my food at this time to pay for. I'd love to stay in an extended stay hotel like I did when I was starting to lose my life. And someone kept asking me to go and put my money in an apartment complex. And my attitude was, if I get a, a job two to three hours away, I'm not going to be locked into an hour or a year-long contract here where I'm going to have to suffer and drive an hour or two one way to a job. People often do their job hunting back asswards. 
but when I'm working my ass off to try to get a new job, it pisses me off that I've got some little fucking panhandler shitbag asshole in a retail shop making $10 an hour trying to screw around with my content so that it looks stupid. Literally taking my audio files off of something I've thrown away and putting it on something that I've just posted up for my portfolio today. That makes me motherfucking angry. I am not here for your playtime. I am not here for your playtime. I am not here for your black community to make all the money off you want to off my programs on how to help feed the indigent. But am I benefiting from those programs? Not much.